Minas Tirith, city of kings. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a look into the Gondor faction in the Dwarven mod for Battle for Middle of One on the patch 2.22 on the beautiful map Westfold. Where was Gondor when Westfold fell? Right here. A rocky, lightly wooded land. I couldn't read the rest. Sorry for that. So we have two soldiers. They are also looking different, as you can see and tell. Let's build a blacksmith and a farm. It looks like they cost the same amount, 400 and 350. Great. And also, very green took. We have, of course, Faramir, Boromir. But we have also Denethor. And Aragorn is finally in the Gondor faction and also Gandalf. I mean, I don't know how powerful these heroes are in this mod, but if they are nearly as powerful as in normal Battle for Middle of One, the combination of Aragorn and Gandalf in the same faction is kind of busted. Okay, so early on we will be capturing lots of settlements. On the beautiful map Westfold, we will have a lot of settlements to capture, but same also goes for our opponent. And when I think about it, it was a mistake to actually open... <laughs> Yeah, it was a mistake, definitely, to open with a blacksmith and a farm. I believe the right call would be only to build one single blacksmith. This way we could capture all these settlements outside without having to wait, you know. But again, on the map Westworld, we have a settlement here, behind, at the top right, at the bottom right, and also here. So in total, you will have, like, a lot of settlements. We see Isengard. Kind of makes sense. Isengard is trying to, you know, invade Westfold, and Gondor is here to back Rohan up. Why not? Because normally, Rohan is the faction which always backs up Gondor, you know? Okay, we have also the chance to build the beacon. Provides leadership and summons reinforcements for 250. But I believe we don't need that, at least not defensively. Maybe in the front side here. Could be a great choice. Okay, Hobbit, you, my friends, move to the bottom right side. And you, soldiers, you also move to the top right side. So we will have actually so many settlements outside. That's great. I also want to see Boromir and Faramir, the captains of Gondor, you know, the, the brothers in arms. Just to see how strong they are in this mod. I mean, so far, I believe this mod is not too shabby. Um, of course, some things are just kind of broken, but that's something you are used to when you are playing mods. Mods are meant to be fun for a single player experience, but not to be balanced for the multiplayer experience. I mean, you can still play them in multiplayer, uh, but they are not just balanced, you know? Okay, let's pick up the heal and we can take a look into them later on. I want to kill those orc archers. That's Mordor, not... Okay, I'm, I'm blind. I really thought I'm against Isengard. But it's Mordor. Okay, so we will take some damage, you know, crossing from this side, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's use heal. Also, shield wall formation. Hobbit, my friend, you move maybe to this side. And in the meantime, let's build one more blacksmith inside the castle. So Faramir, he costs the same. Boromir, he costs also the same. Uh, Denethor, the daddy of these two, is a bit more expensive. Aragorn costs 4,000 and Gandalf, of course, will cost 6,000. Very green took, my friend. Don't run this way. Please not. Don't take too much damage from the orcs. Okay, we should be fine. Again, we took some damage from the goblins, but it's also okay. Not, on, not the end of the world. So, right now, as we are talking, we have one... Oh, we actually won this fight, too, with the soldiers. Holy crap, I'm only... We have one, two, three, four, five, six settlements outside. Oh, but yes, Haradrim Arch is already on the field. Okay, that's not good. Let's try to defend this. Keep going. Let's destroy his mill to, you know, hurt his economy. And recruit the first hero that is going to be Faramir. Oh, sorry. Misclicked. Um, early on, I would like to, you know, recruit all the heroes first, starting from the cheapest, Faramir. Sorry, Faramir, but you need to first of all show your quality. <laughs> and then we will go up to the top, which of course, Gandalf. And then we will also start taking a look into... Hold on a second. Here's a Nazgul already on the field. Holy guacamole. Can we kill this Nazgul? I don't think so. Okay, we will... Oh my, how many units does he have? Hi, Faramir. Faramir, can you please move here? Let's try to build this beacon of... Oh, but he sniped it. Please get invisible. Oh, he got invisible. That's good. Okay, we just lost 250 for literally no reason. And this... Please, please... Oh, he creeped this war already in the middle. Can I actually be faster than the Nazgul? Faramir, show your collect against the Nazgul. Still, oh, but he has archers there. Holy moly. Okay, uh, we need Boromir next. The problem is we have only three resource buildings inside the castle, you know? Farami against a Nazgul. I'm curious. Farami is also level 3. Let's see. Wanting arrow damage against the Nazgul. Pew. Okay, decent. Decent. 
Farami might actually be able to show his quality, but Nazgul is hitting like a truck, even though he's extremely slow attacking. The money on the ground, I want to pick it up, but when Farami feels, of course, the brother, the missing brother, Boromir, is going to arrive to back him up. Farami, are you actually winning this fight? Now you are not winning this fight, Farami, huh? So let's build, let's build. We are taking so much damage, let's build a well for the sustain. And let's beat him with the warning arrow. Now turn and use it. But I mean, a bit faster, please. Oh, far me, don't die. Kite, I used to play ADC. Kill him, nice, far me, finally. But he got two levels for killing him. Two levels, that's dope. Gondor must stand. Okay, he has Horn of Gondor with level three. Leadership with level four, the same. Captain of Gondor with level six. Armor of Gondor for 200 increased. Increased defense against infantry and archers, plus 200 health. And with, uh, with level 10, he has 4 Gondor, grants nearby, Gondorian infantry, increased attack damage and speed. I believe this is like an active um, thing. And of course, we are losing the map control slowly but surely, but it is kind of expected. And we have also not a single new building as far as I can see. But it's okay. So, actually, uh, we need to just wait a little bit and heal up. We have also one power point collected. Create ancient ruins for 4 minutes. All ally units gain 50% um, increased experience, 10% increased armor. All the enemy units lose leadership bonuses. I want to see how this is looking like. It's going to be like, yeah, that's like an Alvin Wood kind of stuff, you know? But it looks different. Oh, you are, you are also summoning buildings. So in this area, you will deal more damage. Or you will level up a bit faster. Boromir is doing a good job. Faramir just makes... Oh, we can also stun them, right? I forgot about it. Are they getting stunned? They are getting stunned. Okay, now I would love to build the marketplace. This is going to help us to get even more money, you know? Even though we have no units on the field yet, but it's fine. Because Gondor has still a couple of summons. Felfi of Dolamroth, we will get the chance to summon the Prince Imrahil and his Knights of Dolamroth. Looks like we have no Elven summon or Ranger summon here, but we have the Eagle summon and of course the Army of the Dead summon. Which is kind of crazy, because the other factions we were taking a look into didn't have something like that, you know? Okay, we gotta fight in the middle. Alright. Can Hobbit win this fight? They are actually hitting extremely hard against Hobbit. Horn of Condor is also having a long cooldown. Okay, Grand Harvest and also Seed. Don't kill a building, please. Get invisible. Nice, we got invisible just in time. We have healed from the spellbook for the worst case scenario. So shouldn't be worried about this situation too much. Boromir is level 4, he has now leadership, but we have no units to give leadership to. And level 6, Captain of Gondor once again, I believe there's like a passive thing, which is going to make him a bit more beefy and tanky. So, a lot of abilities for the Captain of Gondor. Let's go for the Grand Harvest first, for 40% more resource income from the farms inside and outside of the castle. We have also this building now, uh, which we cannot use, but it's like a leadership kind of, kind of thing. One of, but we are getting surrounded. Okay, we, we gotta bail. We gotta bail, boys. Are we gonna die, Boromir? Let's, yeah, let's use skill, I guess. Farm, you can keep fighting until your uh, brother arrives. We also need Iron Ore. It's only 20 person, but it's okay. We have still many, many blacksmiths inside the castle. So, in long terms, the longer the game goes on, the more value you will get from abilities like that. For that reason, let's pick it up. Uh, can you use Horn of Gondor once again? Almost. This is a hero. Yeah, it's a hero, actually. Kind of trying to kill our Faramir. I'm spamming the Horn of Gondor. Come on now. Okay, of course, heroes are not getting stunned from it. But our goal was to stun the archers. There we go. Nice. Now we can go inside the jeans. Get the siege materials. And there is no reinforcement summon, right? Summons reinforcement, but where? I don't see them. Okay, he's following us. There is another hero. We gotta close the gate just for the worst case scenario. And also, what we can potentially do is build a battle tower, you know? Level 7 Faramir. He's actually showing more quality than his brother so far. Uh, talking about showing quality, let's actually prove the quality Faramir has shown to us so far by recruiting Denethor, so also the daddy can see. And also, this is actually quite uh, reloading quite fast. Uh, but look at this. It's only for 4 minutes. So what's going to happen after 4 minutes? Is it going to disappear? If yes, that's a great idea for our patch 2.22 as well. Because what I wanted to do originally is... I didn't want that the Elven would last forever, you know? Or the Tainted Land. 
Okay, we will also lose this farm, right? Oh my goodness. There is no reinforcement, Zaman. Come on, why are you, why are you bullying me? Why are you lying to me? We have enough now for the daddy. Then we have to get king and then we have the wizard. All the powerful heroes from the battle for middle of one. This is going down slowly but surely, but it's fine. From the existing farms, we will get now so much more value. The thing is, the grand harvest, um, you know, most upgrades are lost if you do not own a marketplace. So do not demolish the marketplace in this version, but on the patch 2.2, you can do that. However, this mod is of course running on a different version, on an older version of Battle for Middle of One, so the balance is a bit different. And of course, even heroes are different, so it's a mod, of course. Okay, guys, we have now the Denator, the Steward of Rohan, a leadership bonus and penalties to nearby troops. They gain a lot of increased damage, armor, but they also lose experience gain and fear resistance while near Denator. Last of his house damages Gondor heroes around Denator. Boromir and Faramir are ex. Okay. And Steward's Favor grants target units a large amount of experience. And last but not least, Eyes of the White Tower gives into the Corrupted Palantir. Left click, then right click on. Okay, we can use that just to see what's going on. Look at, look at the vision you will get from it. That's crazy. And I think he won't be able to fight himself. Like, he has some guardians behind him or, you know, next to him, tower guards. And I guess they will, you know, be the fighters. Now we have enough for. Okay, something is backed because I still have the chance to recruit them. Alright, we need to now make something happen before losing every single settlement outside. Because losing settlements will break our eco, you know, and we will need a lot of money. Because I would also like to take a look into the Stonewalker, for example. But first of all, let's recruit Aragorn. Let's see how powerful he is. He's even more expensive in this mod than he is in normal mod. But keep in mind that you have no Anduril in this spellbook of Gondor. The reason why he was so strong in the Ro or why he's so strong in the Rohan faction is because of Anduril upgrades. You can purchase for two power points Anduril Sword, which makes him nearly unkillable. Okay, so Daddy, oh, let's close the gate. And we also need to build a post on gate, I believe. That's how Aragorn is looking like. Peregrine took my tie. Never mind, he's gonna be in, in a safe spot. But I want to show you guys Aragorn first. I mean, Aragorn doesn't look too different. I believe he looks pretty much the same way. He has also Bleed Master, Hands of the King, which is Atelas. We have also Elisa, the Elf Stone, leadership bonus to nearby troops. Great amount of leadership bonus. Then we have also the Flame of the West. Aragorn strikes reduce hero's armor passively. Oath oh, to arms. Inspires nearby, tro nearby troops to heroic heights. The more Gondor troops are in the area, the more powerful the effect. I am steward. Okay, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Why? What's happening with his health? Very questionable. Let's bail. Farami is also taking lots of damage. Back them up, Aragorn. Back them up, my friend. We also lost this farm. So, at this point, we just gotta save. And yeah, this is actually disappearing. This is actually disappearing. That's quite interesting. Is he actually dead? I don't know. Like, his HHB looks so different. Level 5. Let's use. Kill the Nazgul. Oh, there are trolls coming. More Nazgûls are on the field too. Boromir. Maybe you can use Horn of Condor. Faramir. You go out and shoot at the same time. Let's build a tower. Boromir has to be careful. Don't die, Boromir. I don't want to lose you. The trolls are punching each other instead of trying to punch Aragorn. Aragorn kills one of the Nazgûls. But Nazgûls, they seem to be kind of tanky. With level 10. And you can also get mounted with level 7. Okay, that's, that's new. Let's use Atelas. Okay, guys, the attack is incoming. He might be able to break our gate with the trolls. Can you please one arrow this Faramir? This Nazgul? Okay, nice. We got, we got him, boys. We got him. He has also no army of the dead summon. As well as no... See it. As no Elendil. You know, to make the enemy units flee. Okay, we are surrounded, but with the towers, we are able to kind of protect the gate. However, as you can see and tell, we are about to lose this, the last farm outside. The last farm. Okay, we are healing up over time. Our heroes are greatly leveled. This hero with level 7 will also become more tanky. So we have a really strong front line. We are also getting more and more power points. We have actually already 8 power points collected. Let's go for this. And let's summon them right off the bat. I want to see that. Okay, Prince Imrahil. That's how he's looking like. Uh, 
Nearby units gain 20% armor and 20% damage and are immune to fear effects. Then you have also Imra healed the unsketched. Uh, damage dealt by nearby enemies is reduced by 40. And last but not least, right, Righteous Fury. Damage target unit and slow them by 30%. However, um, he has still no chance against the mighty creatures from Mordor, the mountain trolls. But you know who has a chance? Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey. I want to wait until he joins because I want to see if anything changes when I pick Gandalf the White Power Point. I don't think so. We will see about that. The hero has been taken down, but it's okay. So now, before the Mordor makes a transition into the siege weapons, we need to make sure to actually recruit finally some units. But again, I was wait. I was uh, waiting for Gandalf. That's why I was saving up for six thousand resources. Is he actually still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. So let's try to recapture Knights of uh, Knights of Dol Amroth. That's how they are looking like. But remember, they are also existing in the Rise of the Witch King. What is happening? Why, why is he just running it down? He's not able to attack or something? Uh, apparently, he's not able to attack. It's a huge army, by the way. Where is Boromir at? Boromir, can you use Son of Condor? Okay, stun them all. Trolls are charging. You gotta kill Troll. Faramir, you need to warning arrow Troll. Boromir, don't die. We have Atelas, right? We have Atelas. Let's use Atelas right off the bat. Okay, we killed him. Alright, Boromir is like really close to level 7 and Gandalf is here. Okay, he has no, nothing special. We need to get East, uh, Gandalf to fight. I have an idea, guys. Oh my, look this. This is plus potential now that we got here. By the way, this po um, this Palantir pictures are not from this mod, they are from our patch, the patch 2.22. Go next to Aragorn. Heroes are a bit more tanky and beefy here. I believe in a normal game, when you are surrounded like that. Uh, okay, maybe I was jinxing us. Let's use heal. Okay, the troll has been taken down. Lightning sword, nice. Board of power with level 10. Gandalf seems to be one of the heroes which is not change at all i want to see the lightning uh, is there light damage oh my goodness is right against witch king did zero damage by the way zero and aragorn please don't die aragorn i have no money to revive you aragorn i have no money to revive you he died and not only that he was also giving experience to nazgul and the witch king who is now level six i need to now invest 2600 for gandalf uh, for aragorn that's crazy can you get mounted faramir yes you can okay now we gotta start purchasing the upgrades, you know, heavy armor, banner, forge plates, all the all this stuff. Before we make the transition into the units. And we are literally surrounded. We have zero resource income from the forge uh, from the you know from outside of the base. So the grand harvest, which is increasing the money for uh, from the farms by 40, is only affecting those two farms inside the castle. That's it. Heavy armor is ready. We are still missing the forge plates. Okay. The farm is going down, but it is how it is. We have 10 power points collected. Uh, let's go for this one. Okay, let's go for this one. And I want to actually hold on a second. I'm pretty surprised that the Easter Light was dealing zero damage to the Witch King. Zero. Did you guys see that? What is this Nazgul doing? But I want to see the Easter Light now against the normal Nazgul. There is also Orc Warriors. Can you get out? Oh, in this mod they change it so you can't get mount, uh, you can't get out when your units or heroes are mounted. If you want to exit from the postern gate, you gotta get dismounted with your heroes. That's kind of meh. Let's see now. Oh, he's running from the from the Gandalf, just like in the films, I guess. Let's get Gandalf level six, I guess. Boromir, Faramir, then I tell you, can you guys make something happen? Level six, nice. And it's still on cooldown, but it's almost up. We have almost the power points, also we need um, seed for the army of the dead. Let's go for this Stormworker first. We can also summon the um, Knights of Dol Amroth, Sunish, and use them to reclaim some of the settlements we have lost. Our Hobbit is just giving us some vision control, but trust me you now, this Mordor is growing rich. We have literally 0 out of 400 command points right now. And that's what I was expecting, to be honest, the siege has finally begun so we gotta summon the eagles to kill this catapult and to kill the trolls and then aragon is also back on the on the menu that's dope fight boys fight okay eagles are doing a phenomenal job 
Gandalf. Can you zap blast this? He just kill the Nazgul. Just kill the heroes. Is this Witch King? No, that's a normal Nazgul. But that's a Witch King. Okay. Aragorn, where are you, my friend? You gotta heal up the wizard. Boom. Nice heal. Let's use Horn of Gondor. Let's use cut, um, the Rohirrim. Or not the Rohirrim. I'm used to say Rohirrim, you know? Let's kill this catapult. And let's reclaim the map control in the meantime. Now, that still costs 3,000. Holy guacamole. Can you try to kill the Nazgûls? Nice. Let's use this. Faramir, where, where are you, Faramir? Like, we have so many heroes now on the field. Faramir is just literally next to his daddy. I want to see also Army of the Red Summon. I just want to see. It doesn't make any sense to use it. But I want to see if they are as powerful as they are in BFME 1. And the answer is absolutely no. They are leaving li literally zero damage to heroes. Do you see that? And also the units. They are kind of immune to Army of the Dead. Do you see that, guys? They don't take any damage, these units. What? Okay, Chaos, Fear, and Debuff enemy units. But they don't, t they don't deal damage. They literally don't deal damage. Nice, what Della. the heck is that? We will answer Gondor's call. Remember when I was saying, uh, looks like uh, AOD, I mean, Gondor didn't receive any changes. AOD is a change. It's a massive nerf to the summon. Okay. Boromi is level 7 now. That means he has to increase armor. Gandalf is level 7. I'm actually very, very kind of scared of seeing the seed. Uh, the War of Power, you know? Imagine War of Power just knocking them down but deals zero damage. How, how bad this would be. Okay, let's kill this, please. The Witch King is trying to move but he's being body blocked by his own units. Just kill the Balista. Balista is so tanky too. Okay, let's bail. Let's bail. Now we have enough money for this. And also let's go for the Monorian Stormworker right after that. Unlike the Marketplace and the Stormworker, you don't have to keep the building. So what we need to do is first of all purchase this tree and then demolish it and finally start recruiting some units. We can also pick up the PowerPoint, this one. Light the beacons, allows reinforcements to be summoned from beacons. Ah, reading helps, Shanks, reading helps. Now it makes kind of sense, I guess. I want to see that. I really want to see that. But the problemo is... Boromir is like, I want to fight, you know? Oh, he was capturing this outpost already too. Like, we have to kill so much stuff in order to be able to win this game. Let's go for the Monorian Stonework. To make our buildings a bit more beefy, I guess. Okay, the Witch King looks scary, ladies and gentlemen. He's level 7. He looks really scary. Um... Okay, so before... I think we gotta take care of this catapult. Shooting at our gate all the time. Uh, catapults are also missing in this game, as you can see. They are able to miss. And I believe one single catapult... It will need ages. Like, they, they seem to deal way less damage in this mod than they are normally dealing. And not only to structures, but also to units. Throw your sword, Faramir. Kill it with sword. And you are able to kill it literally in two shots. Okay. So, nice. And it's gonna buy us some more time. Look for tracks. Look for tracks. But what is the plan, ladies and gentlemen? What is the plan? Luckily, we have 400 command points available. That means we can recruit a bunch of units. And once we reclaim some of the map control with the marketplace, we should also have a great amount of resource income. The gates are reinforced. Okay, the gates are reinforced. Everything is purchased. Let's demolish that. Okay, that's the plan. Now, let's build up the stable. Remember, we have purchased... This guy is full HP. I don't know why. What is that? I'm always scared when I see that, you know? It always looks like he's all about to be dead. Maybe he's giving a, having a heart attack, you know, because he was able... This is a Nazgul? That's a Witch King. I'm actually... Faramir. This troll just smashed us. Hardcore. He just smashed the Faramir like the Faramir is a, a minion. You know what I'm saying? Like a... Let's use Horn of Condor. Gandalf, you gotta use something against this guy. I wanna see the damage output. Okay, this deal, deals actually damage. Aragorn, you use Blade Master and fight against uh, this guy. And you use Lightning Sword. Can this Witch King die though? 
Oh, bo Okay. Was close. I believe this Witch King can die. And this Witch King seems to be immortal. And he's dealing crazy amount of damage to Aragorn, and Aragorn dies. Is this Witch King even killable? Sometimes you can't even right click on him. Oh, we need to now revive Aragorn, huh? And he is so expensive too. <laughs> yeah, we gotta kill him. Hopefully we will be able to withstand... Okay, we can summon the, the knights. Oh, he's dying to the towers. He's dying. He's not dying to the heroes, but he's dying to towers in a second. Let's use Cloud Break to stun the enemy units. And just kill the catapults. The trolls are beasting, by the way. They are in the beast mode. They are extra Okay, we have now the money for... I mean, losing heroes is always a bad thing. Because you lose so much time out of, out of that, you know? And I don't like the change of the post on gate, if I've got to be honest with you guys. I believe that's kind of eh, you know? Especially now when the, guy, when the knights are out, you gotta literally open your gate in order to be able to exit. Just kill the rams, just kill the siege weapons, that's all you gotta do. You don't need to kill anything else. So, let's try to get some levels with Gandalf. We are kind of broke all the time. You have no place in this world. And Faramir is almost back up. Okay, so now we gotta wait for the King Elisa. It looks like we have also no additional units in the steeple, only the normal Gondor Knights, but it's fine. Remember, Aragorn and Farami and Gandalf are all three able to get mounted in this mod. And these units are not able to attack, are they? Yeah, they are able to attack, but not when you ride. You can't, right? You can't. So the Tower Guards in the front, they are the ones who are actually fighting. And it looks like they have not even the Forge Blades. The siege continues, but it's fine. Faramir can join the party. Gandalf, can you use please lightning? Is there light? Oh my goodness. Okay, not even one-shotting him. Boromir, can you knock him down or not? Looks like Boromir can't even knock them down. Faramir, you gotta assist your brother before... Like, the troll is like dealing so much damage to our Boromir. That's kind of scary. And also knocking him down at the same time. Okay. He's trying to destroy the farm and he will be able to destroy the farm too. Boromir should be fine, I guess. His plus is almost back up. Let's use Lightning Sword. We are under attack. Where are our Knights at? Did I not recruit? Ah, they are actually here. Okay. I am steward of the house. Alright, Aragon. Aragon is here. Alright, let's bail. Paramia, do I need to heal you, Boromir? I guess I have to, just to make sure that you are also not dying. Let's build more towers here for the defense. Let's turn and fight the Nazgul. We need to get some experience. This way. Kill this Nazgul, man. Come on. Okay, the Nazgul has been taken down. That's good. I don't mind about losing the Anator. I believe he's not very strong anyway. In he was kind of overpriced for little to nothing he's offering. Also very, very immobile, as you guys could see. The darkness has been now used from our opponent. Let's give them bleeds and everything. Now, what we need to do is get mounted with Aragorn, get mounted with Faramir, and also get mounted with Gandalf. So, before we actually make a move, let's also level them up. Let's give them this and also this to level them up a bit, you know. Level 2. Okay. Now, you guys are grouped. We need to open the gate because remember, the horses are not able to exit the base. I want to kill the castle. That's my plan. I want to kill this castle of Mordor as soon as we potentially can. But again, that's easier said than done. Alright, more catapults are coming. Gandalf, can you use lightning sword on uh, Easter light on this guy? Yes, he's spamming, he's spamming literally catapults on the field all the time. Kill all the catapults, please. Okay, more catapults are on this side. Looks like we need also the shields to make them a bit more tanky. Boromir can't do anything because he can't get mounted. He can't keep up with the speed of these horses. 
Parame looks like a Gondor Knight, actually. Exactly. Almost the same. We need one more horse to get this table to level 2. Which will give us the chance to purchase the Night Shields. To make our horses a bit more tanky, you know? And Boromir. The, the big problem that we got here is that we have zero... And I mean literally zero map control, you know? And we have, like, quite limited amount of resource income. As the Mordor is so rich, he can lose everything five times and actually spam them again and again and again. Okay, level 9 Gandalf. Maybe War of Power could be great in this kind of situations. Aragorn, can you fight him? Faramir, can you fight him? He's trying to chase our... Aragorn is able to deal great amount of damage. Okay, let's kill this. Let's wait for the Gondor Knights. Let's go. Let's go for the shields before anything else. And I have an idea. I know what I want to do. Look at this Boromir. He's losing one-on-one -on -one against Troll. One-on-one -on -one against Troll, by the way. He's gonna die. I don't want to heal you, Boromir. Just peel be, be back. But there is Witch King now, all of a sudden. Uh, let's focus him down. He's so vulnerable against towers, by the way. Like, towers are killing him, but everything else seems... He seems to be immune to the damage. Does Gandalf offer leadership? Yes. But only 25% increase armor. So his leadership is also nerfed big time. Okay. The horse shields are ready. That's good to hear. I have an idea, boys. In the idea, what we got is... I will, I will explain you. So remember EOD, Army of the Dead, is kind of useless in this mod, in this faction Gondor, right? So what I'm planning to do is actually summon the EOD in the enemy castle so they can actually absorb at least some of, some sort of damage. And then we will be focusing down every single structure. Ignore anything, everything else. That's going to be our plan. To destroy his castle as soon as possible. Just Boromir will need... I mean, Boromir, I believe you gotta just peel back. Because you can't keep up with the speed of the horses. Look, here's like a siege works here. More catapults are coming, but it's okay. We have also cloud break and this summon. So I'm gonna just try to finish off the castle. That's all I'm going to try. Even though we have not the money we need. So let's summon this. Let's use cloud break. Let's also summon these units, okay? And now our plan is just to kill everything. And tank them. Let's summon also the eagles to kill the trolls. Gandalf, you gotta use lightning sword. And then we need to split now the damage by splitting our knights. They don't even have the upgrades yet. Can you imagine that? We, have, we, are, we are so broke, literally. And eagles are not attacking. I forgot that we are not being on the patch 2.22. In the patch 1, 2.22, they will always automatically target. Okay, we killed this. That's good. Can you kill this? Nice. Riders! Uh, Gandalf, you gotta make something against this troll, please. He has used the Call the Horde, but it's fine. Are there any more catapults? The answer is no. But there is one more troll we need to take care of, you know? So just focus down the structures. Unfortunately, like I said, again, we have not the money we need to capture this. And that's also not going to defeat our opponent as he has multiple outposts. Um, just focus down the building, please. He has multiple outposts, you know? Imagine what of power in a situation like that. That would be dope. Do we need to heal? Uh, no, we don't need to heal. So we destroyed the castle. That's dope. Again, unfortunately, we have nothing to finish off or to buy the castle. We are brokeish still. But ideally, what you want to do is we need to fight around this area 24-7 until we get the money to do that. Until we get the money to buy the castle. Because I believe that's the only way we can deny him from capturing this one for himself. You know? So Aragorn is level 10, has everything unlocked. And it looks like he has zero pikemen around this side. So with that being said, Aragorn can also use uh, his heal and also bleed master while he's mounted. That's dope. And Aragorn, can you please take care of this catapult? Yeah, the catapult is not dealing that much damage to units anymore. So, almost level 10, come on. Kill the catapult. Aragorn, kill this catapult as well. Okay, nice. We one-shot them with Aragorn's Split Master. Gandalf, go, go, go. Okay, let's use War of Power. I want to see that, actually. Okay, nice. It deals damage. It deals really damage. Boromir, how are you, level 10? Oh, Boromir is protecting the White City, of course. Where is the troll at? Get a troll, right? Okay. 
Knights of Minas Tirith. So we need to also make sure to keep our pro units protected, you know? That's very important. Parami is taking some damage, but it's okay. Just kill those units everywhere. Okay, we killed the catapult. We have almost the money we need to be able to purchase this castle. And that's what we are aiming for, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we are aiming for. Faramir is losing against Ugluk, or whatever this guy is. Okay. And remember, Gondor in Battle for Middle of One is the only faction which has no pillage. So as you can see, even with the marketplace and the 9 spots advantage Gondor got, you still heavily rely on the map control with every single faction. That's why it took us literally ages to be able to purchase the, you know, the castle. But now we have two castles, so close the gate right off the bat. We need to also build a well. And in the second castle, what we need to build are farms exclusively. Remember, you get 40% increased uh, resources from the farms from the Grand Harvest, which is much more valuable than the, you know, iron ore for the blacksmiths. So let's go for farms now. So, and as you can see, we have like zero farms outside, like literally zero. The only reason why we have vision here is because Peregrine took and we are being surrounded. But we have a strong army now. We have level 10 Gondonites, level 7 Gondonites and also level 10 Gondonites. So we are, all our heroes are level 10 beside Peregrine took. And we lost Deneto because he was kind of meh. I didn't like him too much. And also these towers are going to shoot with lasers. So we have a great protection. This base is looking safe. We have multiple towers protecting this castle. So we should be also fine. Let's wait for the well to be built up and then heal up a bit and go. We also need to build an archer range because of rangers. And the rangers, we will be putting them inside the citadel from the outpost after capturing them, okay? That is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. That is the plan. Okay, nice. So it's like for Gondor animation when he's using that. But it doesn't tell you how much you will boost them, you know? Infantry units only too. So only soldiers, archers, and no gunner knights. Okay, now we should be good. But he has catapults now. Oh yeah, he has many, many catapults. I mean, to be honest, I don't like catapults too much too, but that's just too weak, you know? If they are doing nothing like this, then they, they are just like, they have no purpose, you know? Like he's missing five out of six shots, literally. And the shot he's able to hit is dealing no damage. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make any sense. Let's go for the archer range. And now we can start also build one, two towers around this side. Kill the ram. I believe the ram is the better choice for in this mod to actually break the defense through the, you know, the wall or the gate. Okay. Hey, 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 please kill. I can't even. You see some units, you can't even right click on them. Okay. So we need to A-click in order to be able to take it down. Okay. Alright, we will grow, grow rich now. So what we need to do is let's close the gate. First of all, let's build a post on gate because normal units like archers can actually use them to get out. Let's get the archer range level 2 to get the chance to recruit some Italian rangers. And let's start by taking down this outpost. He's using... Let's use Cloud Break. Right! Water of power is on cooldown, lucky for him. Double siege forks, but no problemo. Boom, sun on your face. Again, I'm I'm so scared of the catapults because normally they are hitting like a truck, but not I can just ignore them at this point. Look, they are not dealing any damage, you know. The Zita is also quite squishy. We took it down in literally no time. And you know what I don't like about this kind of design? You see we have forge plates, but you can't see the animation of the forge plates on these units. So, and I believe that's like a huge minus for this mod. That you can't tell from your opponent, just visually, that if, you know, if he has Forge Blades or not. I believe that's much more important than any design of the game. That's my personal opinion, though. So, okay, this outpost has been destroyed. That's very good. And also archers now. We need more of them, though. It looks like we will need two only to get it to level two. So, I believe he was making, like, random changes. I don't know who made this mod, to be honest with you. Oh, but I also is scouting us. Aragorn is around this side. That's good. Let's build the beacon. And archer range needs like... Still four, I believe, right? I'm not sure. Let's build the outpost. 
right now and let's finally recapture some of the map control uh, we can send those archers to die we don't need them we need rangers and again in the patch point to do you have the chance to sell your units inside your citadel so if you don't want to you know have some units because what is the downside of the battle for middle of one that you need to level up your structures passively over time by recruiting additional units that's the only way you can get it to level two or level three or time for the resource buildings you know boromir is fighting He's actually killing everything. He's like the tower guard, you know? Okay, let's build a statue and also like a tower maybe and then also like a well. Just why not? Um, I don't want to lose this. So let's call this Knights of the Lamroth to protect our side. I don't want to go all the way back now, you know? Just use them because I believe we can also win the fights now without um, summoning them, you know? Okay, we need only okay we have now enough let's get rangers now spam rangers yeah just just fight archers okay and i guess this is going nah call for eight summons a random reinforcing unit from rohan or the south and fifth terms oh you can also spam that i thought that's going to happen automatically over time but i was wrong i want to see that you can't even set rally point from the structure, by the way. So you need to... I want to see how this is looking like. The beacons. The beacons are lit. Come the calls for it. And Rohan will answer. Are these Rohan units? Bowmen of Morphont. Okay. They are also permanent, by the way. But you need to invest 500 for that. And I believe that's like a randomized thing. Now we got an archer. And now we will get like swordsmen. X-men. So it's randomized. They have also skirmish formation. Okay. I'm actually curious if we can combine them too. No, they are, that's not possible. Okay. Okay, we need to capture this outpost too at the bottom side. Now, rangers, you can go inside the outpost for greater protection. And by the way, if you download this mod for the first time, that's going to be the zoom you need to play with. That's kind of uh, boring. On the patch 2.22, you have a file which is called Remove Zoom Limits. So basically, before you start the game, open the map, start the game, and then you will get the chance to zoom out really, really far, you know? Like, that, that's going to literally remove all the zoom limitations of the game. Right now. Okay, let's get this. Let's go. Let's go now. He has even siege towers. They are also looking different, by the way. Okay, so I believe now we can just go for the win, I guess, right? Since he has only two outposts left. I don't even know if he has this outpost. Yeah, he has this outpost too. Let's use Cloud Break. I don't like Darkness. I have also Fire Arrows. And okay, let's go ham. I'm very disappointed of the army of the dead. I don't know what the purpose is of that. That deals literally zero damage. Like you see, I believe they are mainly being used, I guess, for tanking you know tanking enemy units because they are dealing some damage but it's like a lumber mill worker damage you know and the sita is literally getting blown blown up let's use blade master with aragorn faramia they are trying hard to kill the nazgûls let's use lightning sword on this on the spot gandalf is slaying the witch king that's what i like to see we have so much map control. He has used darkness, but it's fine. Like, he has literally nothing that can stop us. Okay. So now, just run it down, mate. This way, archers. We can also build the keep. And ladies and gentlemen... Gonzor was in Westwood to back up Rohan as Rohan was getting attacked from the Mordor faction. Dude, I am so used to the change with the Eagles. Now, when you summon the Eagles, they will automatically attack anything which is nearby, you know, in the patch 2.22. But here they don't. The structures are falling apart. The knights are still hitting like a truck. And that is the victory of the White City Gondor. And yeah. We want to see the glory days of Gondor again. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep 
hitting like a truck and also, and also the Stevion standards. Can't even talk. Sorry for that. Peace out, guys.